Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Carlitz Cakes. And today we are doing our first ever unboxing video. So we have recently received our nine litre planetary buffalo meat mixer. It's the GL190 and we are going to open it, have a look what's inside and compare it to our bigger mixer, which is a 20 litre and let you guys know what we think. So stay tuned to open it with us. video because first and foremost we're the type of people that when we buy something we like to research it for quite a while and make sure that we're buying the right thing and we I am I'm that type of person <laughs> that likes to research things and we couldn't find anything basically on this mix out or much so we just thought it might help someone number one uh, number two we find that everybody flocks to KitchenAid um, and to be honest we've never been that way it's too small for us We've had the 20 litre for how many years? Four years? Yeah, four or five years. Um, and we wanted to buy this smaller one for, for a couple of years now. I wouldn't say a couple of years, but we've had our eye on it for some time to see if it would be okay when doing smaller mixtures. Because the 20 litre, we call it the beast, and it does everything that we need it to do. We use but it daily. When it comes to small, small mixtures like a one block which is 250 grams then it's kind of pointless you can't you can't do nothing it's not scraping bottom of the bowl etc so it's too big for it it's mm -hmm. too big for it so we've been looking at this to see if it was worth it and the only reason why we didn't purchase it before was because of the price originally this nine liter which is sometimes sold as a 10 liter but it's nine liter and it says it on the box uh it was 800 and something pound from Nesbitt's Black Friday deal we got it for 453 pound mm. and then we found a further discount code randomly on Google and we got it down no it was 500 pound and with the 50 pound discount code we got it down to 453 pound yes so we just snapped it straight snapped away it. and then obviously like like Rose said we've just done an unboxing and review to let everybody know what it's like and I actually looked up the KitchenAid the KitchenAid their biggest one that they've got on the Nisbets that I could see was 6.9 litres so 7 litre and that was around 500 pound so you're getting an extra 2 litres with this for the same price for the same price basically and KitchenAid I don't want to start bashing but from what we've personally heard KitchenAid ain't necessarily the best there's lots of reviews on KitchenAid though <laughs> when you look them up there you go <laughs> so. there you go and the other thing I wanted to say is, at the moment, he Khalid actually still hand mixes the smaller mixtures. Yeah, so like a half a block or one block. I use my little hand mixer, but that's very time consuming. Yeah. Hurts the shoulders, hurts the hand, hurts the wrist. So yeah, we need to get rid of the hand mixers, give that to somebody else and have this. We're also looking for the Beast's Big Brother, which is 29 liters yeah that would be next because sometimes like we'll make three 20 litre mixtures in a day yeah so obviously it will halve our time if we can get if we get the bigger one as well so that's the next thing inshallah so should we open it let's go been waiting <laughs>
His bowl is so tiny. This is so, everything's just so tiny and small. Typical woman. <laughs> it looks cute. It's so cute. Like, this is what made me want to get it in the first place. It's so cute. It's not about look, being cute. It needs to do the bloody job. Do you know, as well, I think people watching are going to think, whoa, that looks massive. Maybe some people that are using like a uh, five litre mixers. Yeah. But to us, it looks tiny. Yeah, it's just small. Really small. It compared, compared to the beef, the 20 litre, everything's on steroids. <laughs> like you've got these. This paddle compared to this paddle. Yeah, look, look at, at that. that. Two different things. Two different things. Look at that. Get the, the whisk. So we well. got you got you got you got the baby whisk. You got the big whisk. That's what we're using. This like, is what we're using on a daily basis. So yeah, this is completely so tiny. I feel like it's not gonna that. fit much in. Yeah, it's making me think it's it's like a two block, three block worth of of, of, of product. Yeah. Which I'm not really sure about at this moment in time. To only do two block, three block, what's that seven hundred and fifty grams worth of butter? Then you've got your add your eggs. It's, it, it, it's not really a lot, but for 453 pounds, yeah. it's still a bit on the expensive side, but obviously you're paying for the name Buffalo. And we've had our beef, the 20 litre, for, like you said, four years. And at this moment in time, we haven't had no problems apart from sticking off the bowl. And but that was a bit my fault. Yeah. Because I overloaded the... Um the icing sugar and it like it went like that it poofed everywhere the, that's the one thing with buffalo there's no plastic guard like i feel like on an industrial uh, mixer you've just got this you've not got no plastic guard but it, it doesn't bother us yeah it compared to us. the kitchen age you've got everything's plastic yeah but the majority of it's plastic. it's got like the guard you know yeah, just yeah, like yeah, yeah. puffing up yeah 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 but um that wouldn't stop me buying for this again First impressions, like I said, it, it comes, it comes, it comes decent. It comes with all, all the attachments needed. So yeah. right now it's plug and play. Let's just go. It comes with these, um, with these anti-slip feet. Yeah. So we don't scratch up the sides. That's another thing. One of our feet came off on the big one, but that could have been moving it in, in transit. So. Also yeah. with this one, the difference between this one and the other one, the other one we need our own table for. We need it actually. This. Yeah. We're hoping we can put it on our side, and we'll see how that goes now. Well, according to the measurements, it should fit. It's just the weight. It's just, it's just, it's just the weight. Yeah. How heavy is it? What, 37 kilograms? So, um, you, you can lift it. Well, I can lift it. But, um, yeah, you know, we'll see how it goes. Benefits of gym, yeah? There you go. <laughs> so, yeah, let's get it set up and see how it sounds. Let's yeah. see how it sounds. Let's see if it works, first yeah. and foremost. Let's go. Okay, it was a bit more fiddly than we thought, so we had to get the toolbox oh. out. All oh, the muscles. So we are now putting it where we want it to go, which is next to the oven on this side. We forgot to put the feet on while it was in the air. You might have to lift, <laughs> <laughs> you might have to lift it again. Yeah, we'll do that in a minute. I don't want to scratch up my nice surfaces. Yeah, that's why we need the feet on them. And then I'll also show you the other mix. This is the beast. This is the other mixture that we was telling you about and it's sitting on its own little table so as you can see it looks pretty similar it's got the guard it's got the same like attachments and it will be sitting opposite the baby the baby beast i don't know what we're going to call it yet don't know yet but we'll have a name she beast i don't know about that one <laughs> Okay, so we have brought, okay, not we. June's brought it over here, and this is basically where it's gonna go. There's a few minor things. Basically, the oven plug is down there, so we might have to move in and out the way to switch the oven on and off, which is a bit annoying. Um, and it just fits when, I'm op when we're opening the oven. So that might cause glass banging. So we might move it yet, but for now, this is where we're gonna put it and we'll just trial it and see how it goes. Buffalo actually says that this can hold two kilogram of flour and 3.2 kilogram of dough. Now that helps you if you're making bread, pizza, things like that. It doesn't really help if you're making cakes. So we're gonna have to just test it. 
we're going to test it and we're going to run it and we're going to see how it goes, see how much it fits in and we'll let you guys know. Um, today we actually haven't got any cakes um, to do, we've literally come in to look at this baby, um, receive it, un un unbox it. So we'll be back to do a mix and we'll show you how it goes inshallah. So we are going to plug it in and see how it runs. Okay, feels quite stiff compared to the other one, but that's probably because it's new. Um, so yeah, obviously this all needs washing first, but this is just a trial run. It's so cute. Uh, okay, well. And the lead bag goes the opposite way to the big one, which is a bit confusing, but hey ho, here we go. Right, we're going to start it on the lowest speed. That's not right. Should that be making that noise? So, you see what happened yesterday? It was making a funny noise. When we looked at it, it was snapped and broken at the top. We didn't even notice. We were too busy making the video and saying it was all cute. So, we phoned them, got a replacement, less than 24 hours, here's the new one, unboxed it, put it back in position, so let's carry on, and it's a new day, work's going on behind me, so we haven't got time to mess about today, so let's put this together. louder than the beast that could be because there's nothing inside it but yeah that's it that's second speed just bear in mind it's empty second speed there you go there you go that's that that's that there's not really, there's no movement. The feet does what it needs to do. Definitely sturdy, definitely heavy. Like we said yesterday, full metal. So apart from it being delivered broken, I've got no problems, I've got no complaints. So now it's about seeing how much it can hold inside it. But yeah, we'll give you like a, a future update, a week or two, a month or so and let you know how that goes. Give you like a, a six month or so, something like that update and see if it was worth spending 453 pound on this. So yeah, on that, like, comment, subscribe. Let us know if you personally reckon it's worth it or would you stick to the KitchenAid or if there's someone else out there, obviously we know about Hobart, etc, etc. Let us know what you think of, if it looks nice, if it worth it, and we'll keep you updated. And also, let us know if you liked the review, because obviously, like we said, it's the first time we've done it. So, if you want to see more, let us know. There's a unit full of stuff we can review. So yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs>